Asian developing countries have approximately 200,000 kilometers of coastline. It's a region with remarkably diverse ecosystems supporting biodiversity and livelihoods. Despite this diversity, there are significant challenges to marine ecosystems. There is an existential crisis in coastal fisheries in Asia and the Pacific, with less marine biomass providing fewer fish to catch. Fishers compete by taking smaller and lower value fish often using harmful bottom trawling practices. Nearby, urban and industrial activities contribute to pollution, impacting coastal communities who depend on marine ecosystems. Climate change adds new risks to marine ecosystems. However, there is hope, as demonstrated by conservation efforts exemplified by the Government of Cambodia's Sustainable Coastal and Marine Fisheries Program. The Government of Cambodia, with support from the Asian Development Bank and Agence Française de Développement, are improving marine ecosystems and livelihoods through the Sustainable Coastal and Marine Fisheries Programme. Climate change is adversely impacting coastal biodiversity. So we are trying here to work with uh, the Government of Cambodia and the local fishing communities, including women, to be able to arrest the decline in productivity and also to be able to regenerate the marine ecosystem. Building awareness within fishing communities on the protection of marine ecosystems and endangered species is key to their future. <coughs> ហើយការធ្វើឡេងថ្ងៃនេះក៏យើងបានជើងសហគមន៍ <coughs> Overfishing, the use of illegal fishing gear and rapid coastal development have reduced marine biomass by 90% since the 1970s. The Sustainable Coastal and Marine Fisheries Project encourages adaptation within coastal fishing communities in four provinces along Cambodia's coastline, from Koh Kong to Phra Sihanouk. Kampot and Kep. It aims to reverse ecosystem decline in 40% of nearshore fisheries by protecting life-giving seagrass beds and mangrove forests and investing in sustainable mariculture. Implemented by the Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries, the Ministry of Environment and Khmer Enterprise, the project will modernise practices in 40 coastal community fisheries to foster sustainable livelihoods. The Sustainable Coastal and Marine Fishery Project will promote the private sector development by enabling the coastal communities and also the small businesses to diversify their livelihood, adopt the sustainable practice and also grow into a viable business enterprise. And this project will also support the women economic empowerment through scaling up the women's engagement in the fishery subsector. I think this initiative will directly benefit at least 20,000 households and the wider coastal community of about 200,000 people. And being ADB's first significant investment in coastal and marine fisheries, these efforts contribute to enhancing resilience of the coast to the impacts of climate change, which we're already experiencing. However, in order for all these efforts to create impact, it is critically important that the wider coastal zone developments that are implemented in a coordinated and sustainable manner. Local fishers are experiencing declining catch, with low-valued fish offering smaller returns. Imported fish is now required for human consumption. 
To restore incomes, the project aims to enhance marine biomass and support fishers to transition into commercially viable mariculture through three principal components. Component 1 supports the regeneration of nearshore fisheries productivity and establishes marine fisheries management areas to control wild capture fishing practices. Community fisheries will manage their fishing activities and diversify into open water mariculture. Boat licensing, catch reporting and gear modification will be incentivized to manage fishing productivity. ແລະປະຊາພົນລັດໄດ້ໃນພູມຈິດຄ້າງຈັ່ງມີສະຫະກົມກໄດ້ມັນຕອນບານປະກາດສະຫະກົມກໄດ້ຍິງຖືຕາ
บานในทานเอาไปจับไปนั่งเราโหดในเกทเฟอร์กับบานสักษาเราโหดตัวจงใครนั่งจมง่ายไปหายเจมมาโรยมาเทียดแต่เปียปอนนั่งจมเอาตักหายเทียมตีไอตุกได้เมียนตุ่มพุ่มทมนั่งก็โจลหมดได้ Infrastructure support for high-value seafood handling will provide access to potable water, sanitation, and modern technology. Gender-sensitive facilities will support women who lead product handling and processing, and include childcare facilities and services that will help eliminate child labour. Investments will strengthen community fisheries and community protected areas to develop and enhance ecotourism initiatives and community savings groups. The participation of women is essential to the project's success. Protecting and restoring coastal and marine ecosystems will help rebuild productivity. Essential mangrove rehabilitation work will be led by community fisheries members. Ecotourism initiatives will improve and diversify livelihood opportunities. ADB's regional flyway initiative will work with the project to support a key flyway network site in Kokong province, the Kokapik Ramsar site. Part of the East Asian Australasian Flyway, it's one of nine global migratory flyways. The site includes mudflats and sandbars within an intertidal ecosystem and provides a protected habitat for migrating water birds. Component 3 of the project will focus on coastal economies that add value to available marine resources. The development of small and medium enterprises in coastal communities will be supported through awareness training, business planning and conditional grants. The project extends Khmer Enterprises SME Business Incubator and Accelerator programs into the coastal provinces. Staffed childcare facilities will enable mothers to participate in business development programs to increase their economic opportunities. The goal is for a sustained, private sector-driven coastal economy developed through capacity building and entrepreneurship. We need CAP to really become a destination. We need diversification, we need different product offers, we need to remain high-end and sustainable. The National Park, imagine that it's sold out. All the islands, imagine if they were all commercialized. All the fishing and the oceans, imagine it's only with illegal trawlers scraping off the bottom of the sea. There is no foundation for economic growth. If you want to make money long term, it all starts with respecting what is given to you. So please, the coral that we have on the islands, multiply it. The biodiversity that we have in the sea, multiply it. But also multiply sustainable operation and make Cambodia really a greener space. Sustainable Coastal and Marine Fisheries Project is supporting livelihoods and helping Cambodia adapt to the challenges of climate change for generations to come.